this means that we have at least two, and sometimes if you're interested in grads, three ways to measure angles. You do need to at least know these first two, the radians and the degrees. As we saw above, radians tells us the length of the arc subtended by the angle measured in radii. So if I have one radian, it means my arc length equals one radius length. Two radians will mean two radii, or two radius lengths. Three radians, four, five, six. And I can fit a total of two pi, or approximately 6.28 total radians in a circle. For example, I could have four radians which means that if my radius is five inches then this arc length would have to be five times four because four of my radius lengths will fit onto this arc length so my arc length will be 20 inches All right, let's look at degrees. With degrees, what we essentially do is we take a circle and we cut it up into 360 equal segments. So each degree is 1 360th of a circle. Meaning, if I have 90 degrees, that's 90 out of a possible 360. This reduces down to 1 fourth. I have 1 fourth of a circle. So that's why I have 90 degrees. I have one fourth of my possible one circle. Lastly we have grads. Grads are very similar to two degrees but instead of cutting my circle into 360 parts I'm going to cover, cut it into 400 equal parts. So each grad is 1 400th of a circle, meaning if I had, let's say, 150 grads out of a possible 400, well, 150 out of 400 is going to reduce down to, let's see, we're going to get about 3 eighths of a circle. So if I cut my circle into eighths, three of these makes up my Four, or not 400, 150 grads. What you really need to know and you need to have fully understood is that there are a total of 2 pi radians and 360 degrees in a full circle. And this will be important. Because next we're going to talk about converting angle measure.